Hello everyone. Welcome to Summer Sunday School. This is Miss Marianne. Hope you guys are all doing really well and are enjoying these, uh, the summer weather and getting to do some fun things outside. Um, this is the last week of our Summer Sunday School series, How We Know God. And we have a beautiful book called Old Turtle, text by Douglas Wood, watercolors by Ching Chi Chi. Um, it's a classic fable and just a really beautiful book. So I hope you guys will enjoy that and it will give us a lot to think about in terms of how we know God. So next week we will start transitioning um, for the school year. And we're also going to start doing some Zoom Sunday school in addition to videos so that we can see each other and talk to each other and meet our friends and all of those things. So I'm um, very excited about that. Hope that you guys will join us for that. So please uh, tell your adult people to check their emails so that uh, you guys can find us on Zoom because I really want to see you. Um, but for right now, let us do our lesson. So I will light our candle. And let's just take a moment to take a deep breath. You can either close your eyes or look at the candle. Dear God, thank you for this time together. Thank you for these ways of being together. And thank you for all the ways that we can know you and learn about you. Amen. Old Turtle. Once, long, long ago, yet somehow not so very long ago, when all the animals and rocks and winds and waters and trees and birds and fish and all the beings of the world could speak and understand one another. There began an argument. It began softly at first, quiet as the first breeze that whispered, God is a wind who is never still. Quiet as the stone that answered, God is a great rock that never moves. Gentle as the mountain that rumbled, God is a snowy peak high above the clouds. And the fish in the ocean answered, God is a swimmer in the dark blue depths of the sea. No, said the star. God is a twinkling and a shining far, far away. No, replied the, son, the ant. God is a sound and a smell, and a feeling who is very, very close. God, insisted the antelope, is a runner, swift and free, who loves to leap and race with the wind. She is a great tree, murmured the willow, part of the world, always growing and always giving. You are wrong argued the island. God is separate and apart. God is like the shining sun far above all things, added the blue sky. No, God is a river who flows through the very heart of things, thundered the waterfall. God 
God is a hunter, roared the lion. God is gentle, chirped the robin. God is powerful, growled the bear. And the argument got louder and louder and louder. Stop. A new voice spoke. It rumbled loudly like thunder and it whispered softly like butterfly sneezes. The voice seemed to come from, why it seemed to come from Old Turtle. Old Turtle hardly ever said anything and certainly never argued about God. But now Old Turtle began to speak. God is deep indeed, she said to the fish in the sea, and much higher than higher, said the, she told the mountains. God is swift and as free as the wind, and still and solid as a great rock, she said to the breezes and stones. She is the life of the world, Turtle said to the willow, always close by, Yet beyond the farthest twinkling, twinkling lights, she told the ant and the star, God is gentle and powerful above all things and within all things. God is all that we dream of and all that we seek, said Old Turtle, all that we come from and all that we can find. God is. Old Turtle had never said so much before, and all the beings of the world were surprised and became very quiet. But Old Turtle had one more thing to say. There will soon be a new family of beings in the world, she said, and they will be strange and wonderful. They will be a reminder of all that God is. They will come in many different colors and shapes with different faces and different ways of speaking. Their thoughts will soar to the stars, but their feet will walk the earth. They will possess many powers. They will be strong yet tender. A message of love from God to the earth and a prayer from the earth to God. And the people came. But the people forgot. They forgot that they were messages of love and a prayer from the earth. And they began to argue about who knew God and who did not and where God was and was not and whether God was or was not. And often the people misused their powers or hurt one another and they hurt the earth until finally even the forests began to die. and the rivers and the oceans and the plants and the animals and the earth itself. Because the people could not remember who they were or where God was. Until one day there came a voice like the growling of thunder, but as soft as butterfly sneezes. Please stop. The voice seemed to come from the mountain who rumbled. Sometimes I see God swimming in the dark blue depths of the sea. And from the ocean who sighed, he is often among the snow-capped peaks reflecting the sun. From the stone who said, sometimes I feel God's breath as she blows by. 
And from the breeze who whispered, I feel God's presence as I dance among the rocks. And the star declared, God is very close. And the island added, God's love touches everything. And after a long, lonesome, and scary time, the people listened and began to hear and to see God in one another. and in the beauty of the earth. And Old Turtle smiled. And so did God. I wonder what you thought about this book. I wonder if anything surprised you in this story. I wonder why the animals argued about what God is like. I wonder which of the animals ideas about God you liked best. I wonder why the animals listened to Old Turtle. I wonder why the people forgot that they were messages of love and prayers from the earth. I wonder if we remember this today. I wonder where you are in this story or what part of the story is especially for you. And I wonder which of our stories that we did this summer you liked best. And I wonder what you're hoping to do this week. I hope you do something fun. Find something nice to do. Let's do our closing prayer. Bring our candle back. Dear God, thank you for helping us to remember that your love is with us. It is always there when we are with each other. Thank you for all the beauty that is around us on this earth and help us to take care of it. Thank you, God, for each other. Amen. I'm going to change this light so the light of Christ will be with you Wherever you are, I will find you. There's always there for you if you need it. Take care of yourselves. Blessings. <laughs>